Kevin Durant, fourth straight double-double, also two for eight from three-point range, scored 30 points with 11 rebounds. Bounce back from some deep deficits. I'm wondering what didn't go you guys' way to be able to bounce back from being down earlier today. We, we did bounce back, actually. We were down four a couple times, and they pushed it up. I mean, I just they responded after every run we made, and um, we got to give them credit for that. Um, but I think we, we, we were down early. We got ourselves back into the game. Uh, we were down like 12, 15, and then we got back, cut it. It was 82, 77, and we found a three-point shooter, and that's when it, they kind of took control. So I felt like we were right there. We just couldn't get over the hump. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Some of those three-point shots that came from Chris Middleton, I'm just wondering what you saw from him tonight. <laughs> that's you, Malika? <laughs> <laughs> I hear that music in the background. Um, yeah, the arena's it's moving. You should pause that. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Middleton, I mean, the first few threes he hit was off of offensive rebound, kickouts, threes, and then we fouled him a couple times, got to the free throw line. We got, I think we fouled him three times shooting threes, you know, so that got his rhythm going. And, He's a shot maker, so you see the ball go in the basket, you get more confidence. So we fought him on threes, and we the office, every time it felt like they got offensive rebound, he hit a three. So, you know, he, he made timely shots for him. Did you see any difference in, in James's comfort level? It seemed like he was moving a little bit more aggressively. Yeah, he was moving a little, he was moving better today, but you know, that's a tough, tough injury. And he, he, he uh, gutting it out for us, and uh, we're not expecting too much from him movement wise. Um, you know, uh, but he going out there and giving it his all, and we respect that. Greg Logan from Newsday. Uh, Kevin, in the fourth quarter, you guys were within five points, and they got that 18 to two run. You feel like that was more of a breakdown on offense than defense because you just weren't getting enough help from enough places, and it wasn't diverse enough. For you guys to get up and get in, get into transit transition, and they just kind of wore you out. Yeah, I mean, we, we Joe hit that three, like I said, to put it, cut it to five, and the momentum switched when they came down and got the three shots, and we called a timeout, and then they just regrouped after that, and uh, you know, for the most part, offensively, like we, you know, a couple possessions, we you know, stagnant, we turned the ball over, but for the most part, we still just kept playing. And um, that's what we're all about, just keep playing, keep uh, trying to win the possession. I mean, on offense, we're trying to, you know, patch things together and make plays for each other, but sometimes, uh, you know, it's not going to be there. So I think defensively, we, we tried to lock in as much as possible after our offense was stalling, but we, we put ourselves in position to be in the game late, um, but they made a huge run. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, you just touched on what I was going to ask you. So to, to pivot a little bit, you guys shot 9 for 30 from 3. Steve said it seemed like you guys were getting decent looks for, for most of the game. Do you talk it up to this make or miss league, or maybe you're forcing stuff at times? Oh, yeah, I mean, you could talk it up to a lot of that stuff. You know, maybe we rushed a few shots. Maybe, you know, they got a good contest. So we just missed it. Um, but we can't concern ourselves with that. We put the work in every day as individuals, and we got to trust in that once the games come around. Um, but defensively, turn the ball over early like we did. We can't allow that stuff. Shots gonna go in. Shots they gonna you know you gonna go through lows when you can't make a shot. But we gotta we can't um, we gotta stay disciplined and and, and um, you know keep the ball in our hands and take good shots. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kevin. Um, getting out scored like 26 to 4 in transition. I mean, in your mind, is that just missing shots and turnovers on the offensive end, letting them get out and run too much? Or is that yeah, not picking guys up, you know, in transition, get back? I mean, that fast team in transition, you know, they got, you know, Giannis who can sprint the floor. And and that's what they emphasize is getting out in, on the break. Um, but I think we gave them a lot of opportunities from, especially, you know, tough shots, turnovers. And, you know, they thrive off that stuff, so we got to be better. Last question, Ian O'Connor with the New York Post. Yeah, Kevin, obviously, uh, Tuesday night you delivered one of the great playoff performances we've ever seen. And to try 48 hours later on the road to duplicate that physically and emotionally, how hard is that to do? Uh, I wasn't even trying to duplicate anything. I mean, I was just trying to go out there and play each possession. I'm not trying to be a hero out there. I know we can't win a basketball game by myself. So 
Uh, I just try to play the right way, take the shots that were there. A few of them I felt like I rushed just to try to get us back into the flow and switch the momentum a bit. But uh, for the most part, I thought I was aggressive to put pressure on the defense. And I got to keep the ball in my hands a little bit more. But, you know, being aggressive is always uh, positive for us, especially when I'm going downhill. So um, I try not to, you know, duplicate um, huge nights like that. I just trying to let the game flow. And tonight wasn't our night. Thanks, Kevin. We appreciate it. It was the night for Giannis and Chris Middleton combined for 68 points and the win. We'll hear from Giannis 